Ryan is with us in Clarksville. Hey, Ryan, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great. And yourself, Dave? Better than I deserve. What's up? Hey, so really the heart of my question, you know, is buying versus renting. Um, and I understand a lot of what you, you teach, and I've been following you for about two years now, is, is behavioral, behavioral, but I'd kind of like to walk you through the numbers. Uh, so uh, about two years ago, my wife and I had about 77000 in debt. Um, we went from, we had our first child, went from two incomes to one income. And since uh, about two years ago, we had 77000 We've got 22000 left. We're about to finish baby step two now. Awesome. Um, yep. And then uh, this last September, uh, we made the decision to, to get out of the Army. We've been in for seven years now, uh, so we're going to make the transition. So starting this past September, uh, we put baby step two on hold to save up a, a larger emergency fund, not knowing kind of what the job looked like afterwards. Well, I, I just accepted a job down in Jacksonville a few weeks ago, so we've got about 20000 saved up. Awesome. Um, with 22000 left in debt, so we're about to be debt-free. Yay! Um, and the, the question is, um, exactly, very excited, um, is renting versus buying when we're going to Jacksonville. Uh, I've kind of looked at the numbers, and, and what the numbers say is, you know, if I, we get a VA loan, we're able to um, start saving for retirement and um, get our three- to six-month emergency fund established in September of 2017, whereas if we rent, looking at the rent rates, um, we're not able to save for the 20% down um, if we do a th baby step 3B mm -hmm. and uh, buy a house until about September of 2019. Mm -hmm. So the question is, do we buy now and get that extra? The way I see it, there's two positives. There's the equity we'd get in the house, plus I start saving for retirement two years ahead of time when I move into baby steps four and six at the same Except time. Except for the fact that you're moving in a house broke. Yeah. Which is just so dangerous, it's unbelievable. You're asking for trouble, and the VA loan's a more expensive loan anyway. It's not a bargain. It's the worst loan out there as far as the, the three, VA, FHA, and conventional. Conventional's the cheapest, FHA next, and VA last. The only reason anyone ever does a VA loan is because they don't have any money, mm. and you can get a nothing down deal with that. That's the only reason anybody uses their VA loan. Thank you for your service to the country, by the way. Um, no, I would rent. Um, I, the only thing I would adjust is where you're renting. I think you're comparing rental properties. Uh, you wouldn't rent in the same place you would buy in terms okay. of the same neighborhood. You're, when you rent, you're buying patients. So you rent the mm -hmm. cheapest possible thing. And so you're probably in a different area when you rent than you would buy in, uh, which accelerates the time that you do that. But I want you to get, you know, finish up your debts, which you're not going to be quite debt free is what you've described to me. And um, then, then finish that up and then get your emergency fund in place. A lot of times a first-time home buyer is in a situation like you're in doesn't save the entire 20%. And okay. so I might, I might back off on that, get, but get 5 or 10%, something like that down, and just do a conventional loan, and it's going to be cheaper. You're going to pick up PMI, but you can get the PMI kicked off when you get it paid down to 80%. Okay. When you get it paid down, I mean, you're not going to keep, you know, you're not going to keep the PMI the entire life of the mortgage. It's just for the number of years until you get it paid down. And then that gets you on into retirement, probably at about the same schedule you were talking about, because you got to factor in the numbers with my change in this was cheaper rent and, cheaper rent. and, and not a full 20% down. Okay. And when I put those two things together, it tightens this calendar back up in you, in what you're describing. But I just I've seen so many folks buy a home broke, and it just it makes them broker, man. It just becomes the house is not a blessing; it's a curse. Then, and, yeah, and I just don't want that to happen to you. Yeah, and the other thing I was looking at everything that I've looked at is my bare minimum salary. So my salary is going to be eighty five, and then I have the option. My wife is not working. Yep. Um, we prefer for her to stay home. She's got a nursing degree. Cool. Um, she she could work a little bit, and then uh, if I take my GI benefits and go to school while I'm working as well, that's an extra fifteen hundred a month. Um, oh yeah, that jacks so, up everything. Yeah, you get that stipend yeah, going. And yeah, the good exactly. news about nursing is she's got all kinds of flexibility. She doesn't have to do a nine to five and throw the kids in daycare. I mean, she can pick up some, you know, pick up a couple of twelves a week and really change your whole picture dramatically. Right, and then. And, and everything that I looked at whenever, whenever I was, you know, kind of looking forecast, I, I like to go off. I like to remove as much risk. And for yeah. me, that meant not counting on that extra income. Yeah, you were working worst case scenario on everything. Yeah. But that changes the numbers too. So 
I mean, bottom line is, is you're probably renting for about a year with what you're describing there. Okay. And with me backing off the 20 with a first-time home buyer down to maybe 5 or 10 down. Okay. That kind of thing. I think, you know, if you start piling on some extra income and you guys tighten it up and you rent cheaper, you're, you're probably renting for about a year, something like that, and then you buy and then you move on out and get your retirement going. You're going to do great. What's your new job in? I'm uh, an operations management position. The only, uh, the other... This is not a, a, a money thing, but just kind of looking at time. Um, the position I got hired on, they're looking for me to move up in position in about five years, which would mean, you know, uh, into a general management position of, of the facility. That's wonderful. That's a great place. That's a great track right out of the military. Very well done. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. You are not a victim. You're not a victim of big corporations. You're not a victim of Wall Street. You're not a victim of capitalism. You're not a victim of wealth inequality. You're not a victim of racism. You're not a victim.